Let's see what are timeline and LERP nodes. So timelines are special grouping nodes that keep updating or ticking for a particular duration. It is like a customized event tick and it is very useful for smooth logic based animations or smoothly going from value A to value B and the value can be basically anything and a number. It could be location, it could be rotation or it could also be scale or basically any number that you can manipulate. Along with the timeline, there is a node that is very frequently used, which is linear interpolation. So, LERP node is for linear interpolation. This is the node that is used very frequently with timelines and it returns a new value between two values based on alpha. Now, alpha can be thought of as progress between 0% and 100%. So, if you have an animation which goes from a rotation of 0 degrees to a rotation of 360 degrees uh, within uh, some particular duration, in that case, the value A will be 0 and B will be 360 and alpha will be the value that comes from timeline and it is usually between 0 and 1. Let's see an example to make it more clear. So this is the third person template and in the blueprint folder, I'm going to make a new actor. And let's say this is Q. And we will add a cube. Now in the event graph, in the begin play, I'm going to add a timeline. And let's get a lot node as well. Let's open the timeline by double clicking. Now I want the timeline to go on for one second. So length will be one. Now we will add a float track. And let's say this is alpha. This is the value that will go from zero to one over this duration for one second so we need to add two keys first key the value will be zero and the time will also be zero so value is zero time is zero for the second key the time will be one or whatever is the length that you are setting so if you set it five seconds the time here will be five seconds and value will be one as well we can fit it now let's go back to the event graph and connect alpha. And I want the values to change between 0 and 360. So this will be the degrees of rotation between 0 degree and 360 degrees of our cube. So let's get the cube as well. And we will say set, set relative rotation. We will split the struct pin and we will plug this into Z. So our cube will rotate over the Z axis. Now if we place this cube in front of play start like that and play, we can see that this cube rotates from 0 degrees to 360 degrees over a particular time period, over one second. Now what if I want this cube to keep rotating, to, to keep looping? It is very easy. We can go to the timeline and make it a looping timeline by clicking on this loop icon. Now if we compile and if we play it now, now we can see that the cube keeps rotating. So that is a very easy and quick overview of two very useful nodes in Unreal Engine 5, timeline and LARP nodes. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next one.